Hi, Mark Reedy here. In this video, I just wanted to go over the Lube Service uh, PM tab for you. And we'll go over creating a Lube Service type, how to edit mistakes that you might have made to the Lube Service type, um, entering in a new Lube Service, the entry of lower interval Lube Services, uh, preference settings for lower interval Lube Services, for auto entry of those, you can have that turned on or off and then uh, loop services and reminders. Um, I'll also show you the loop service um, reports as well. If I can spell correctly. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the loop service type is this drop down here, and we're in the loop service tab, as you can see up here at the top. Um, and the loop service type is this drop down, and it comes pre configured from us with um, two or three loop service types, like a 3000 mile, um, a couple of other ones. But um, in order to create a new loop service type, I'm going to create a 5000 mile loop service type. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it a name. So the first part is just naming it. It doesn't have anything to do with the interval, but it can be a name that means something to you. So I'm just going to call this 5,000 mile. And then I'm going to hit tab or enter, either one of those. It tells me it's not in the list and asks me if I want to add it. So I'm going to click OK. And now it's asking me to enter the mileage interval. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in the number 5,000 because that's what this one is going to be. Click OK. The next question is for me to enter the hours interval. This would be if this was based on an hours uh, meter reading interval. And I'm just going to click OK or cancel the bypass of this one because it is not based on an hours meter. And the other one is the days interval. And I'm going to bypass that as well. You can have two different intervals on the same loop service if you want to. So you could have uh, miles and days. So whatever comes first is how it's going to start showing up in the reminder screen. So I'm going to click OK to that. And um, and now we'll go ahead and enter in the uh, loop service. So I've, I've done that. Oh, I was going to show you first how to edit mistakes. If I made a mistake in that loop service, for example, uh, I, I named it wrong or I put the wrong interval in or something like that, um, you go up here to forms and then drop down list maintenance and if you put your mouse over it, you can see all the drop down list maintenance items listed there that uh, you can edit so I'm going to go to the uh, loop service types right here choose that and now if I wanted to make a change to one of these I'm going to go to the 5000 mile one that I just created and I'm going to just put the word, the letters PM after it. All right, and I'm going to click. Uh, now, once I do that, I could go to another one and, and choose to make changes. I can make multiple changes here in this screen and then click close. The other thing you can do in this screen is make it inactive. So if I click inactivate, what will happen is the loop service will no longer show up in the drop down. But if it was used in the past on a piece of equipment, it'll still be in there for that piece of equipment so that you don't end up with a, with a blank space here uh, under the loop service types. Um, you can delete a loop service type, but if you do delete it uh, by using the delete button down here, uh, it's going to delete it from everywhere it was used on a piece of equipment. So you're going to end up with uh, equipment if you had used it. It'll end up, you'll end up with equipment that has uh, no loop service type so there's no interval so they'll never show up on a uh, reminder screen or anything like that so I'm gonna go ahead and click close we've changed this and added the uh, the words the letters PM after it so I'm gonna close that and you can see it instantly updates over to the drop-down list if you click on the drop-down list also it tells you what the uh, intervals are for the loop service type uh, for each one in the list there so now to put the date in, I can just double click this to put the date in, to put today's date in. I double click that and that puts today's date in. And then uh, for the odometer reading, um, looks like this piece of equipment has 214785 on it. So I'm going to go 214, I'm going to go 215, 
200 on there. And um, it's asking me if I want to update the odometer and hours meter for, for this piece of equipment. And so if I click yes to that, it'll update it for the equipment itself. Um, the next field is for the hours. If you have an hours meter uh, reading that you want to put in there, you can do that. Here, the accomplished by, from the drop down, you can choose somebody in your personnel file, or it can just, um, it could be another name. You can just type a name in there, or it could be an outside vendor like um, um, you know, diesel repair shop or whatever it is. Um, and then I can hit tab and it'll accept that. And, um, and then the next checkboxes are what's been actually completed on each item. The A, the B, and the C are for a A service, a B service, or a C service. Now this would be a list of items that exist outside of Tatum's that, um, that you would check off as showing as completed. Uh, so if you, if you completed an A service, you would just check that. And that would be a list of um, items, uh, PM items that were completed during an A service. And that would be a list of items that are, exist outside of Tatum's. There's no internal list inside the program for these A, B's, or C's. And then the next field down here is the notes, and you can just type in whatever notes you want to put in there. Um, and I uh, should have done that on this one that we're actually on. Okay, so now you can see that I. Um, I've got the 5,000 mile PM and the 10,000 mile PM. Now, um, if I wanted to add a 20,000 mile PM and say this was done, you know, farther in the future, we'll say. And we'll put this at 215, Six. Okay, and go ahead and add that. And we'll just choose a name in here. And now it's asking me if I want to enter these lower interval loop services uh, at the same time as this was done. So if uh, if if entering in this twenty thousand mile loop service also triggers a completion of the five thousand mile and the ten thousand mile, then you can highlight those two, click OK and it'll enter those in there automatically for you and it says completed during the 20,000 mile loop service completed during the 20,000 mile loop service so and then you can continue with the 20,000 mile just checking off what was completed on there alright so that's how you um, enter automatically enter the l lower interval loop services you can have it more automated so that it doesn't even ask you to choose which ones if you go up here to Tools and Preferences, and you'll see here where it says Always Add Lower Interval Loop Services. So if you check that, it's going to also stop asking if you want to add lower interval loop services, and it will automatically add them for you um, without popping up. It'll just enter all the lower interval loop services. Now you can also just choose to stop asking, and it will never ask or add the lower interval lib services but keep in mind if you if you do that the lower interval ones will still stay on your reminder screen until they are actually completed until you've actually done those and and completed those okay so let's see what else we got here so we've uh, entered a new loop service we've entered the lower interval loop service uh, we've looked at the preferences settings for the lower interval loop service now we'll look at the lube services and reminders and so let me go ahead and show you that I'm gonna click on um, forms and then reminders pop up and a little bit of an elapsed time message there uh, see how it says not responding just go ahead and let it continue to run its query in this case this this particular database has hundreds of past due lube services and inspections and so forth and uh, over 300 pieces of equipment so it takes a little bit longer to run these queries so as your database grows the reminders are going to take longer to uh, pop up for you so once you have the reminders pop up screen we can go over here to the loop service reminders and that shows us all the loop services that are currently due 
and also over here it shows you you know the next mileage it's due at this shows you that it's a hundred and this one particular one is 105 miles past due uh, this yearly one if we scroll off to the right here we can see here it's 473 days past due so this database has not really been updated in a little while so that's why a lot of this stuff is showing up on here and it shows you how many on the tab how many uh, currently are due underneath the uh, loop service tab so that is the reminders for loop service um, you can print out this list also the the list down below if you just click on the print button it'll print out that entire list for you you can also choose to filter by um, different parts of the program if you want to choose a specific customer and look at all the reminders for a specific customer location department or area once you choose customer then you would have the choice to choose which customer it is if it's by location you could choose which location it is and so forth and then you click apply filter and then it's going to filter that list for you or all the lists for you actually so that's the reminders for loop service and then finally we have a couple of reports I'm going to show you real quick um, one of them is the current equipment report and you can see the loop service report right here if I click on that it asks me which year I want to print out the report for I'm going to go back to well I'm just going to stay at 2014 that'll work I'm going to click OK there that shows me the upcoming loop services when they're next due uh, shows me the ones that have been completed and the you know equi equipment information and so forth and then the other report we have would be underneath uh, uh, reports and then more reports you go over here to loop service and we have a few of them um, the reminders report can be listed here with the filters so if you have the, your filters filled in on the filters tab it'll show you all the current loop services along with the filter part numbers for those loop services um, this would be re, uh, loop service reminders by customer these are the ones coming due so if you want to see what's coming due uh, due in a certain date range so if you wanted to see what's coming due next month you could start off in the next month from that month uh, over the next 30 days of that month so you can go 3-1-2014 to 3 2014 and so forth so that's how you would uh, uh, use uh, narrow down the criteria for that so um, that's it for this help video hopefully this has been helpful for you and thanks for watching take care